Hi guys, welcome back to ABOC Studio. In this video, I will show you how to crochet this top-down crop top. The reason why it's called top-down is because we're going to crochet it from the neckline down to the body part. With this pattern, we're going to get to know one of the most useful crochet techniques, the sleeve line increase. This is my favorite technique and I use it all the time. If you are new to the technique, it is best to stick with the written pattern and follow the size instruction. But once you understand it, you can easily manipulate it and use it in freehand crochet to create your own design. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this super crop. It is the exact pattern as this um, topped out crop top. I only bind off earlier with only two rows of the body part. And then I added this hand ornament. I'm already working on the pattern for these hands and I will give you a notice on my Instagram story as soon as I publish it. But in case you need a tutorial beside that pattern, please let me know in the comment section. It will take a bunch of requests to actually allow me to uh, put it into work but I really appreciate each of your requests, so please don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, that's it. Let's see what you need to prepare for this project. For this project, we're going to use the 5mm crochet hook. It will be convenient if you also have the 7mm. Although it's only for the foundation chain and even if you don't have this one, you can still get the job done with only the 5mm. So it's good to have this 7mm but the 5mm is the main one. For yarn, you can choose between category number 3 or category number 2. For this tutorial, I use DK yarn and it is 100% acrylic DK yarn lightweight. As you may have seen in the intro, one of the sample was made with this yarn, um, category number 2, fine weight, and it is 55% cotton. This one is my favorite yarn for summer garment. Then you will need 4 stitch markers. Last but not least, scissors and yarn needle. We're gonna start with a foundation chain. The number of chains depends on the size you're working on, so please follow the size instruction on the screen. First, we need a slip knot. And you put the slip knot on your 7mm crochet hook. You'll see in the written pattern that the chain need to be loose and that's why I'm using this 7mm and work my chain but if you don't have this hook you can still use this 5mm just remember to loosen up the loop on your hook before you yarn over and pull through so that the chain would be nice and loose to the similar size with the chain of the 7mm Once you have the chain, I would recommend you to um, count the number of chain one more time just to make sure that you have the right number. Then let's switch to the 5mm hook. From now on, we won't need this 7mm hook anymore, so let's put it away. As you can see in the reading pattern for row 1, we are now going to double crochet into the third chain. So, first chain, second chain, and third chain. For double crochet, you first yarn over. You can hold, you can put your finger right here. Then insert your hook under the top loop of the third chain, like so. Now with the working yarn, pull our loop. You see that we have three loops on our hook. Now yarn over again and pull through two loops. We now have two loops on the hook. Yarn over again and pull through both loops. And that is our first double crochet into the third chain. First double crochet. 
all right now we repeat the same thing into the next chain yarn over insert the hook in the next chain draw our loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that it's our second double crochet from now on we're gonna repeat the same process double crochet into each chain across until the end and I'll meet you in the end of the row to show you what to do next I'm at the end of the chain and you can see that I have two chains left to work in let's do that all right let's loosen up this loop a little bit now at this point I would recommend you to count uh, all the stitches on this row um, counting every double crochet that you just did together with this chain 2 at the beginning here this one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all the way until the end and the number you get should match the number in the end of the reading pattern for row 1 now moving on we're gonna use these stitch markers to mark 4 stitches on this row each mark will be slightly different between the sizes so please follow the number that I put on the screen all right now for the first mark we will start counting from this chain 2 this one and then the first double crochet so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all the way until the number that you see in the rhythm pattern for your size um, I'm working on size small, so my first mark would be the 11th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So for size small, we will mark this stitch right here. And on top of this double crochet stitch, you will see the V. And that's where you want to put your first mark, right there. And again, it's going to be different between the sizes, so please follow the number on the screen as long as you're counting from this chain 2 all the way until that first mark that you should mark. Moving on to our second mark, again, you're going to follow the number for your size on the screen. And we count from the stitch right next to the one that we just marked. This first mark right here, we're going to count from this stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this one. And repeat the same process, follow the number on the screen for your size with these two markers. Count from the stitch next to the last mark. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you have all four marks in place and you have the right number of stitches on first row, the number of stitches you got left counting from the one that next to the fourth mark, here, one, two, three, four, all the way to the end, should match the number at the end of the mark guide. Moving on, we are going to join this first row into the round by putting two ends together with a slip stitch and to do that you have to make sure that the round is not twisted so you lay this row flat like this and putting the ends together make sure that it's not twisted something like this this is the twisted round you want it to be nice and perfectly round Then we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch. So you see this is the chain 2 that is there because we put the first double crochet into the third chain, right? So this is the chain 2. 
Next to the chain 2 is this double crochet, the first double crochet. And on top of the double crochet, you see the V shape. And that's where you want to insert your hook. Right under the V, take both loops. Now for slip stitch with the working yarn, you're going to yarn over and pull our loop. Then you're going to pull that same loop through the loop you already have on your hook. And that is a slip stitch. Now one important thing to remember every time you slip stitch to join around is to tighten up that slip stitch. Because this slip stitch looks like a V. And if you don't close it up, you might mistake it with a double crochet stitch. So you pull on the loop on your hook and the working yarn to close that slip stitch up. Now follow the pattern, we are going to chain 3 and turn our work. But in case you want to switch yarn to another color or another types of yarn for row 2 to create the stripe pattern for the top, this is where you want to switch yarn right before you chain 3 and turn your work. Now that's not what I'm gonna do with this project. It's gonna be a plain one color top. So I've prepared another project to show you how to switch color. Um, if you don't wish to switch color, we'll be back to this project in just a minute, all right? So this is the project that I would go for stripe pattern. You can see I just slip stitch to join the round. I'm gonna take my new yarn, slide it into this, this loop on the hook, like so, and then pull on this working yarn, this previous working yarn, pull on it so that it close up, and then we are going to tie this tail with this previous working yarn together, like so. And then you're good to go with this new yarn that you just attach in. So we are in the same place with this one but with another yarn. Now let's get back to this project. Let's chain three. One, two, three, like so. Turn our work from the right to the left. For row 2, instead of double crochet, we're gonna work triple crochet. So you see this is this first double crochet, on top of it is this V, and that is where we will place our first triple crochet, okay? Right under the V, and remember to take both loops of the V, alright? For triple crochet, first yarn over it two times. You'll see that you kind of have three loops on your hook. Insert your hook into this first stitch, like so. And with the working yarn, you draw our loop. You'll now see that you have four loops on the hook. And with the working yarn, you are going to yarn over and pull through two loops. One time. Again, yarn over and pull through two loops. Second time. And then yarn over and pull through two last loop for the third time. And that is our first treble crochet. Now one more time, yarn over two times. Insert your hook in this next double crochet next to the one that you just did. Insert your hook under the V on top of that double crochet. Right there. Draw our loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is our second treble crochet. Now again into this next double crochet. Yarn over two times. Insert your hook. Draw our loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now again, yarn over two times. Insert your hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Alright? So it's just the same as the double crochet, but instead of yarn over one time, you yarn over two times, and then instead of uh, pull through two two times, you pull through two three times and that is how you work a treble crochet okay now repeat the same process treble crochet in each double crochet across until you get to this first mark and i will show you what to do there Now 
now that we here you see that uh, the next stitch would be the mark stitch you can see as in the written pattern that we're gonna work a treble crochet chain one and treble crochet into that same mark stitch so first treble crochet into that mark stitch then chain one and then another treble crochet into that same stitch so here you can see that it's how it's like what you want to do next is to move this mark stitch into the chain one space and then we're going to repeat the same process treble crochet into each stitch across until the second marked stitch so let's do that i'm going to show you one more time uh, how we work in the second mark stitch So you can see here that the next stitch would be this second mark. What we do is that we treble crochet in there and then chain one and then work another treble crochet into that same stitch. And that is how it's like. Again, move this mark to the chain one space. And from now the process will be just the same, you treble crochet into each double crochet until the mark stitch, treble crochet, chain 1 and treble crochet in that mark stitch and repeat with this last mark, the fourth mark and I will meet you right here uh, at the end of the second row to show you what to do next. I'm at the end of row 2 and you can see that I have 2 stitches left to work in. And here you can see this 3rd and 4th mark. I work a treble crochet, a chain 1 and treble crochet then move my mark to the chain 1 space. Let's finish these 2 stitches. A treble crochet and a treble crochet in this last stitch. Okay, now to finish this row, we are going to again slip stitch into the first stitch of the row. So this is the chain 3 in the beginning. Next to the chain 3 is the first treble crochet. You insert your hook under the V on top of that treble crochet stitch. And then with the working yarn, draw our loop. Draw that loop through the loop on your hook. Don't forget to tighten up the slip stitch. We're gonna chain two and turn our work before moving on to the next row. But what if you are working on a stripe pattern and you want to switch back, back to the yarn of your first row? Let's see how to do that. So this is that project that I'm doing. And we are at the same place in the end of row two. This working yarn of row 1 is still hanging there, waiting for us to switch back. You are first going to slip stitch to join the round with your current yarn. Tighten up the slip stitch and then bring up the working yarn of row 1. With that yarn, you are going to pull a loop and then hold on this working yarn close the loop now you have this loop of the other yarn to work with chain 2 turn your work and move on to row 3 let's get back to this project okay chain 2 turn your work and then for row 3, we're going to work double crochet into each stitch across 
until the chain one space so each stitch that you see on the way including this stitch right before the chain one okay let's do that remember for double crochet we only yarn over one time insert the hook in the first stitch on top of this treble crochet the V in there draw our loop yarn over pull through two times repeat yarn over one time insert our hook draw our loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and repeat that double crochet now you will see that I have two stitches left before I get to the chain one space okay so one double crochet in this stitch and then double crochet in this stitch now follow the pattern we are going to work a double crochet a chain three and a double crochet in this chain one space right there so a double crochet chain three two three and then another double crochet into that same chain one space so yarn over insert your hook in that chain one space draw our loop it's gonna be a little bit tricky here because you have this chain three uh, right before that stitch you can hold it right here so that it's easier to work with yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and that's how you double crochet chain three and double crochet in the chain one space you want to move this mark to the chain three space like so and then again you are going to double crochet into each of this treble crochet stitch across until the next chain one space so you see this is the next treble crochet that we're gonna double crochet in yarn over insert your hook in there pull through two pull through two okay and just double crochet all the way until the, the next chain one space and i'll meet you right there to show you what to do next Okay, here you can see that I have one more stitch to work in before I get to this chain one space. I will work a double crochet in this stitch. And then in this chain one space, I work a double crochet, a chain three and another double crochet in that same chain one space that is how it's like and then we're going to repeat the same process double crochet into each stitch across until uh, the chain one space uh, double crochet chain three double crochet in that same space all the way until the end of the round I will meet you at the end of the row to show you what to do next. You can see here that I have two stitches left to work in before I finish row three and I'm gonna finish with two double crochet into these stitches now every time you almost finish the row before you slip stitch to join the round I would recommend you to count the number of stitches you have on the row and compare it to the number you see at the end of the reading pattern to make sure that you keep the right number of stitches without skipping any stitch or accidentally increase any stitches now just the same as before we're gonna join this row into the round with a slip stitch tighten up the slip stitch 
and chain three turn our work and move on to the next row but before we do that let's see what's going on with the stripe project you would also join the round with a slip stitch just as before but remember that because we are switching color after each row we would always have this um, strands of yarn sticking on one side of the top and that would be the wrong side so you want to keep this yarn that hanging around at the same side with this um, strand that you can see here so instead of put it like this we put it on the same side with this visible strands of yarn join the round with a slip stitch tighten up we drop this yarn that we've been working on and pick up the other yarn pull our loop with that yarn Hold on to the previous yarn and close the loop. Okay, and from now we're gonna follow the same pattern with this yarn. So chain three, turn our work, then follow the same instruction. Okay, let's come back to this one. Okay, let's redo this. Let's double crochet, slip stitch to join the round, tighten up the slip stitch, chain 3, turn our work. For the fourth row, it's going to be treble crochet rows, so we work treble crochet into each stitch across. Yarn over 2 times, insert your hook, draw our loop, and yarn over, pull through 2, 3 times. Repeat the same thing all the way until we get to the chain 3 space and I'll meet you right there to show you what to do next. Now at this point, there are actually no need to move your marker anymore. Like you don't have to move the marker into the chain 1 or chain 3 space because it's pretty obvious when you get there but in case you want to make sure you can always put the marker in the space just as a reminder all right i would treble crochet all the way until i get to the chain three space and we will meet right there You can see here that I have one stitch left before I get to the chain 3 space. So I'm going to work one treble crochet in there. Right? Now when we get to this chain 3 space, let's remove this so that it's easy. We work a treble crochet, a chain 1, and a treble crochet in this, that same chain 3 space okay from here the process will be exactly the same we treble crochet into each stitch across all the way until the end of the round and the pattern will be just the same there's nothing new so please follow the written pattern that I put on the screen I'm at the end of this row and you can see here that I have one stitch left to work in. Um, this is how it should look like by now. Now, let's finish this row with the last treble crochet and then slip stitch to join the round, tighten up the slip stitch, chain two and turn our work follow the pattern we are going to double crochet into each stitch across 
until this first chain one space and I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you right in that chain one space Here I am closer to the chain one space and I have one stitch left. I'm gonna do a double crochet in there and then follow the pattern. We are going to double crochet in the chain one space. Then we're gonna make a chain and this number of chain depends on the size you are working on. So please follow the size instruction in the written pattern. You would want this chain to be a little bit loose, so loosen up the loop on the hook before we work up a chain. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. I'm working on size small, so my chain would be five. And then we are going to jump right into the next chain one space right here and work a double crochet in that space for double crochet we yarn over insert a hook in that chain one space and then finish our double crochet then you want to double check if you still have the right number of chain one two three four five now from here we are going to so this is this gonna be the sleeve now moving on we are going to double crochet into this next stitch the one right after the chain one space here this one okay so double crochet in there this is how it should look like like so and like so then we are going to double crochet in each stitch across all the way until we reach to this chain one space and we're gonna repeat the exact same thing that we did here but I will meet you right there to show you one more time how to do it So here I am closer to this chain one space. I have one stitch left, so I double crochet in there and then double crochet in this chain one space. And again, make a chain according to the size instruction. Then jump right onto the next chain one space and double crochet in there. Then I'm going to double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch across all the way until the end of this row. And I'll meet you right there to show you what to do next. gonna finish this round with a slip stitch tighten the slip stitch chain 3 and turn now follow the pattern you can see that it's very simple we treble crochet into each stitch across all the way until this chain and we treble crochet into each chain so i will meet you right here when i'm closer to the chain uh, and show you how i do it here you can see that i have two stitches left before i reach my chain 
So I work two treble crochet. And then I will work treble crochet into each of this chain. So whatever number of chain that you made in the last row, you should have the same number of treble crochet on this chain. So And here you can see this is my last chain. I will work in it a treble crochet. And then moving on, I will do the same thing I did before. Work treble crochet into each stitch. Okay, so here this stitch in the V on top of it. And then each stitch across all the way until uh, we get to this chain. Repeat the same thing, exactly the same thing um, as we did here and the pattern will be just the same, there's nothing new. So please follow the uh, reading pattern on the screen. So the length of the top really depends on you. Uh, you can repeat the same pattern over and over again until it is as long as you want. Um, here is the super crop. You can see here for this super crop, I, were, I made only two more rows after this armpit chain. One treble crochet row and one double crochet row and that's it. Um, for this one, I made one treble crochet, one double crochet, so two treble crochet rows and two double crochet rows. And here is where I want to bind off for this project and I will show you how to do that. Uh, we repeat the same thing to join this round. Slip stitch into the first stitch, tighten up the slip stitch and to bind off we chain one then we can cut but remember to leave a long enough tail to weave in all right okay that's it there's only one more thing we have to do is to weave the ends back into the piece and if you don't know how to properly do this yet please check out my recommendation in the description here you can see in the beginning there's a little slit this is because instead of joining the chain into the round we join the first row into the round I like to leave it like this and just weave my tails in but if you want to close this lid all you have to do is put this tail into this first stitch right there and then tie it up and then weave the tail into the piece all right 